Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. So Mestastic has removed a role and added a role and they've done some updates to their app or at least on the Android side. I'm not an Apple user, so you'll have to let me know if there's been changes there. So the new role that's been introduced is called Client Base. We're gonna get into what that is and why they added it. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the role, the contested, uh, the uh, contentious role of repeater has been removed. Now you're still going to see it on their website on mestastic.org. But if you go, as I've shown you here in the video, go into the app and go into roles, radio configuration, and try to select that role, it is not listed there. So what is client base? Well, client base, according to mestastic.org, is a personal base station allows rebroadcasts of packets from or to its favorite nodes. Uh, you can favorite a node. If you don't know, you click on it in your nodes list. Go down, scroll, I'll show you that here in the video, and select favorite. And that way it's going to get more priority in the rebroadcast from that client base. So where does this, oh, one other thing is it basically handles all other traffic just as a client. So if, what, where does this best, where's the best use case for this? Well, say infrastructure node like rooftop, attic, you know, a high rise apartment building, balcony, something like that. So that if you currently, you know, have a handheld node inside and you, you don't get a lot of the messages because of the, you know, the buildings blocking a lot of the signals, which can be common, especially, you know, if the building's concrete, has a lot of metal, things like that, it blocks a lot of signals. You're probably going to have problems getting messages from the network uh, inside. So this is something you could add, uh, one of those nodes and then use it in client base role and help solve some of those problems. So the role that people tended to use in this was client late. Now client late is still available and it's designed for infrastructure nodes and allows for rebroadcasting packets as once, but only after all other modes, ensuring additional coverage in local clusters. That's not really the best role for it if you're using it in the case we explained before something like just a rooftop node or an attic node to help you get messages inside so other the reason why client base is so beneficial is it does stuff like um, it basically acts like a local hub and rebroadcasts only essential traffic uh, from connected clients uses smarter timing and doesn't flood the mesh with unnecessary transmissions or unnecessary broadcasts, uh, helping free up, especially when you live in areas where there is a lot of users, that airtime, you know, being flooded constantly with unnecessary uh, traffic causes problem, causes collisions, causes messages not to go to the intended node, that type of thing. So it is definitely um, a big win you know, for users, especially those users in congested areas. <clears throat> Repeater. Well, yes, they did remove it. Um, there's a lot of people celebrating. There may be some people upset. I understand. I missed use Repeater years ago when I first started with this, not fully understanding it. Um, but it really is, was only per, only designed to be used like in a very strategic, very perfect location. If you're looking to do something like that still, or you're already using a node on a tower or mountaintop thing like that, use it in router mode and you'll be fine. So, um, <clears throat> the app, so the app updates, some of the features may have been available. I just noticed them as I was playing around with it. But if you look into the mapping feature, it looks like they're using Google now. I don't think they were before. Maybe they maybe they were just, um, but it definitely shows up. The Google logo shows up in the map. But if you look, uh, you can, you know, change from normal to satellite to, uh, to, what is it? Terrain, you know, and then the hybrid. One of the other features, like I said, I wasn't, I'm not a hundred percent. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think this was available. You can add KML and KMZ layers now, which is really cool. Um, because you can build those files. I'm going to probably do a video on that in the future. Just think, you know, add in like radio repeater towers, ham radio, uh, GRMS repeaters, other key features you want to add in, customizing your map for your area. 
There's also some filtering options where you can add in or you can make it only show you the favorite nodes. Um, and then you can also filter um, last heard time. You can have any or, uh, you know, shorten that time from within the last hour or whatever. That's helpful, especially once again, if you're in a highly uh, clustered area with a lot of people on the network and you want to filter it down to being only seeing stuff that was currently active within the last, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. That's a cool feature. One thing I did notice, I'll show you an image here. Um, and this happened on two different Android devices is when I would go into radio configuration, um, the, it would lock up. Uh, and my fix for that was disconnect, reconnect, and then it would work fine. I may need to clear some cache or something, but I noticed that on both. So if you're experiencing that, let me know down below. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or just my device issues. So if you found this information useful, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, check out our website, social media links, or we have a Telegram channel uh, and a Discord server that's new. So those links are all below. Thanks for watching.